Good evening. Southlink bus drivers are threatening more strike action, including 24-hour rolling stoppages next week. Today, they stop work for four hours, leaving some commuters stranded. If your bus didn't arrive today, this is probably why. We'll be alongside you. Are you in for the fight? Yes! yes! Hundreds of Southlink drivers in full voice at Lonsdale and Elizabeth frustrated their demands aren't being heard. Members, yep. the company offer, do we accept or reject? Reject! I think that's very clear. But passengers were left confused. Although today's strike didn't start until 10am, drivers claim management cancelled some peak hour routes, leaving morning commuters stranded. So one of the parents rang up and I went out in my bus and picked them up and ran them to the school. This was blatantly done by Southlink. That run could have been done. All those passengers could have made it to the city. The unpaid four-hour stoppage also catching passengers out this afternoon. I had to wait for an hour to come, get the bus coming down here. So whether I was going to wait for another hour or not, I don't know. And there could be more strikes. Workers say last night's revised document from Southlink still doesn't meet demands over pay, rostering and safety. Nothing's ruled in or out, but you know we have the ability to take up to 24 hour stoppages. So do Transfield drivers who are yet to vote on their latest offer. Any stoppages sure to cause chaos during the city's busiest time of the year. And the city's about to get even busier with the Clipsal 500 set to roll into town. Eddie Godfrey is at Kent Town and Eddie, a number of road closures are set to be enforced. That's right, the Clipsal 500 is now less than a week away and there are some road closures motorists need to be aware of. From tomorrow, parts of Decatable Terrace, Wakefield Road, East Terrace and Flinders Street will be closed, as well as a handful of roads through Kent Town. Then from Monday, the drive home from work will take a little bit longer, with parts of Bartels Road and Hutt Street also out of action. The RAA is urging everyone to be patient and allow a little more time to get into and out of the city, especially if you travel along Greenhill Road. The journey times increase by about 15 to 16 minutes, so we'd suggest people allow themselves around 20 minutes at least for an additional journey time. Now, for motorsport fans, the action, of course, takes place from next Thursday through Sunday. For those who aren't, the good news is all roads will be back to normal the following Wednesday. Back to you.